Hey guys, so tonight for dinner, I am making a Mexican tortilla bake, and it's super easy to make. What you need to make this is a little bit of olive oil so that you can saute your vegetables and grease your pan. But aside from that, you have one can of black beans, one can of corn. I like to use the extra crisp corn if you can find that. Three cups of cheese. I'm using a cheddar Monterey Jack blend. You need a tablespoon of taco seasoning, two teaspoons of garlic, half a red bell pepper, half a green bell pepper, one medium onion, and a small jalapeno, optional, diced, and eight large burrito size tortillas. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is add about a tablespoon of olive oil to your pan. Let that get nice and hot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna measure out the two teaspoons of garlic powder. And one tablespoon of taco seasoning. You're gonna add your peppers and onions. And you're just gonna saute the peppers and onions for about three to four minutes until they start to get soft. So I let my peppers and onions cook for about six to seven minutes because I like the toasty little, just a little bit of charred bits right at the end um, because to me that is amazing flavor. Most people just wanna get their veggies soft and then continue on with the recipe. That is you, up to you. Three to five minutes just to get the veggies soft and cooked or six to seven if you like them a little toasty and maybe a little tiny bit of the random char. Now you're gonna add your corn that you drain. And you're also gonna add the beans that you drained and rinsed. And now is when you're gonna add your seasonings as well. So I have my two teaspoons of garlic powder. Mmm, it smells so good. And I have my tablespoon of taco seasoning. Okay, give everything a mix. Okay, so you're just gonna let this sit here for about two to three minutes. You want the corn and the beans to get heated through, but that's it. So this is done. So I'm gonna turn this off now. So you're gonna get your nine by 13 glass dish. You're gonna grease it with olive oil, butter, avocado oil, whatever you use to grease your pans. I'm using olive oil. So now you're gonna take six tortillas and you're gonna put them overlapping, two on each of the long sides and then one on each end. And you want them overhanging about five inches halfway. And then you're gonna put one in the middle because that's gonna seal the bottom of this bake. So you have two tortillas on each long side, one tortilla on each short side, and then one in the middle. And you're gonna press those down. All right, so get your filling, and you're gonna start scooping it into the middle. Now you're gonna take the three cups of cheese and you're gonna sprinkle that right over the top. Just like that. Make sure you get every bit of those veggies covered. And then just press down a little bit because you want that veggie filling really pressed in there. You want the cheese pressed into the veggies. You want this to be nice and compact. Okay, now you are gonna take your last tortilla and you're gonna put it right in the middle, just like this. 
press down. And now you're gonna take all your other tortillas and fold them over just like this. And it's okay if the corners are a little weird. It's totally fine. Okay. And now you are gonna take more olive oil, spritz the top, crush the top with olive oil. You can do butter, you can do avocado oil. All right. Now, what you need to do is get another dish, bowl, pan, a brick, anything. I'm using another Pyrex, but just the next size down. And you wanna put it on top and press down, just like that. And now you're gonna put it in the oven that's been preheated at 425, and you're gonna bake it for 20 minutes, okay? So I'll see you in 20. Okay guys, so this has been in the oven for 20 minutes. As you can see right there, it started to get a little browned. So what you wanna do now is take off the cover, the top part that you had covering it, and you're gonna put it back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes until the top tortillas are golden brown. So while that was baking in the oven, I was getting the sides ready. Today, I am going with some avocado salad and I just, Cut up two avocados, and I put olive oil, a little vinegar, some diced onion, and some fresh cilantro, little salt and pepper, and that's it. That's one side. And then I put together an easy, quick, just standard lettuce, onion, tomato, cucumber salad. Dress that up with some extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some apple cider vinegar, just like that, salt. I wanted a nice crispy iceberg salad, kind of like the lettuce you would put on a taco. A little extra cilantro, so I just chopped it up to sprinkle it over the tortilla bake when it comes out. Okay guys, this just came out of the oven. It is crispy, it's nice and toasty. Look, hear that? Nice and toasty. With just a little bit of olive oil just like that and I'm gonna sprinkle it and I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little garlic powder on top just like that and then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna brush that all over all right and that's gonna give the top of these tortillas a ton of flavor and then last but not least I'm gonna take that little bit of fresh cilantro that I had and just sprinkle it all over the top. You don't need this, but just a little extra something. All right. Now, I'm gonna let this sit here and just cool for a little bit, like five or 10 minutes. Just let it cool a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna take it out of the pan and I'll show you how I cut this. Okay, so this has been cooling for about six to seven minutes. And now I'm gonna slide it right out like that. It smells delicious. Okay, put this over here. Now you're gonna wanna use a serrated knife to cut into this. This is like a serrated uh, bread knife. That's what you wanna use so that it cuts through without destroying it. Let's cut into it. All right, woof. Even though it's been cooling, it is still piping hot. But let me show you inside. Look at that. Look at that. It smells and looks delicious. Look at that. If you don't have a serrated knife and you have to use something else to cut it, then use a pizza cutter and just press down and go fast, just like that. See that? Perfect.
Just like that. And when you're cutting it with the pizza cutter, you want to start from the inside out so you're not squishing out all the filling. All right, so we have our tortilla bake. Now, I'm going to serve up some salad with that. Just like that. A nice, fresh salad. And then, we're going to have some nice creamy avocado, just like that. Dinner is served. This is going to be super delicious. Anyway, make yourself a tortilla bake and thanks for watching. You can go meat free and still get protein, budget friendly and delicious. Enjoy your dinner folks. Bye.